Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today I have a exciting video that I've been preparing for for a while. Um, just like a lot of guys, I've been seeing all over in Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. So I, I'm doing this on three hours sleep. Puppy mum life is hard. I'm telling you. Um, Instagram, YouTube, you know, all the normal places. Um, we always get to about July, don't we? And we're a bit like, oh, I'm in a funk. And we already start to look forward to the next year and get excited about what planners. And we lose interest in the planners that we've already got. Um, so that happens to me quite a lot during the year. So I do flit and change between planners. And um, for a while, my constant was the Hobie Nietzsche Cousin and the B6 Allergy. And then I kind of went wiry with A6 and all that. And then, like this, um, I have spoke about, this is the uh, Kimbo, this is like the 10, um, the 10 pound planner from AliExpress, and I don't think I've filmed, like, every setup. I got it, because it's smaller than the cousin. I was getting overwhelmed with planning. With everything that's gone on, if you're, um, new here, then, um, let me just move you up, sorry, let me move you up. Um, then hi, my name's Becky, um, I lost my father and then, um, a month later my dog passed away, um, and yeah, it's been hard, it's been really, really hard, uh, along with other things, normal things that I've had to deal with mental health wise, I had to deal with that, I still don't think I've really properly processed it and I don't know, you know, I don't really know the grieving process because fortunately I haven't had to grieve like this before. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, this was getting too much. It was getting too much and trying to fill like every page. I have gone forward and decorated some pages in the hope that it will make me want to... Um, I've put post-its on some days to try and go back, but it's just, it, this, this planner, guys, is everything in one, it is everything in one, you get your monthlies, you get your weeklies, you get your dailies, and oh, that's one of my favourite spreads that I've done, that one, it's really pretty, um, and I'm not saying that I'm not going to use this planner, but for the time being, it's too much for me, it's too much for me to use, um, and it's not fun, so, um, because I made the mistake, I added a second cousin because I thought, oh, I want to do some planning on my own without filming. It, it just got too much, guys. Long story short. So, um, I thought, right, I'll, I'll get this because, you know, it's a tenner. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but it has worked and it's a lot smaller, that's what I was showing you then, than the cousin. And, um, yeah, Zeus passed away on the 18th and... <clears throat> Yeah, my, I didn't plan it in here, I planned it in a different planner. Um, and yeah, it's just like fun. I like coming in here, I've enjoyed it. And the perfect thing about this planner is um, it's undated. So this week just gone, I haven't planned at all. And I'm telling you, it's made me anxious. Because I've been doing this like little project, it's made me really anxious. In fact, I'm telling a lie. Um, this is my passport TN. I did a bit of decorating. Um, I did um, I did fill in July monthly. I was kind of halfway through the month going, oh, I tell you what, I'll use this as my one book July. So this week, like the 11th, it's now the 15th when I'm filming this, I have just wrote down some things in here. And it has been nice. I'm not going to lie. It has been nice just writing little things down, like just, to, just so I've got a list you know, of what, um, because I panic, I panic if I don't know what I've done, so I don't know if I'm going to back plan this week, I think I will, because it will just bug me, but I don't have to, that's the point, so, um, I've also, I'm still using my Hobonichi Weeks, but again, I haven't really been in it this week, I've had a hard week this week, um, I'm giving myself some grace, uh, Chris, my husband's been away for the week, so it's been me with the kids and a puppy um, on my own, and yeah, it's just been really, really hard. The lack of sleep I find really, really hard. Um, and to be honest, guys, I haven't really, um, 
the only things I really need to know is who was picking up the kids and who was dropping up the, off the kids and what days they needed what because Chris normally does the mornings and he normally does the school runs so I don't really have to and he does like it's role reverse in our house and I used to feel bad about it like the mums like always do everything with the kids and the dads don't and or they share or whatever but like stereotypically it's the mum's job isn't it and I've beat myself up about this for years but why can't it be the dad's job you know Chris has to get up he has to go to work um and he can drop the kids off on the way to work it's on his way you know it's fine so he keeps on top of all that he keeps on top of the birthdays um he tells me obviously and I sort out birthday cards birthday presents etc for the parties and stuff like that and you know I do do a lot I sort out the finances I do the meal plans I cook I clean I do washing but like and I am involved in the kids lives as well but he's just taken on that role it's like a bit role reverse and you know it works for us so I'm I've stopped beating myself about that because and if you're in the same position as me and your husband does the kids I mean why not why why do we live in a society where you can be frowned upon for that I mean I'm sure some of the people that we live by think well she didn't do fuck all um but yeah so I, mean, I love this spread I absolutely love it I love the colours I love the way it, it came about I mean I can use my um can use my TN to just fill in but the idea was you know this was meant to be my functional place so you know this is still in the mix and I am this is going to be definitely 100% the book that I finish for um, 2022 because I'm determined anyway so the thing that's missing with this is my dailies my day-to-day -day dailies and you know I was missing the B6 I'm not gonna lie I was but I wanted a change guys I needed a change so what I did was I bought a A5 strategy because this is like A5 um it's not quite a standard TN size I don't think because I'm sure a standard TN from the measurements that I've taken is is 12 centimeters so it'd come out to about there by 22 so like just a little bit off the top there but anyway I digress again so I bought an A5 Celgy and I cut it down not great I'm not gonna lie <laughs> look at that it goes whoop. but um there's a media center on the camp where my husband works and he told me after that they have like a massive guillotine that they could have chopped it but you know it doesn't matter um and when i very first started planning this was one of the first planners that i bought i love it as well it's prima traveler's journal it is a standard size and it's just lovely i love the pink i love the little ruffles they do give you some extra so really it would only if you bought a standard size it would only be that but they've added that on extra which i love um yeah so i thought I love this I, I I love this so why not have something that's going to go in there and you know that's it that's everything in this small compact little package and my weeks as well um, does fit in the back it chunks it up but it does fit in the back so you know if I'm going away or anything I can take all three so what I have done is I've um, set up the pockets because you know that's just fun to do when I'm just sat around um watching whatever I'm watching and I have like kind of cut things down and it's been fun because I've never I've never bought standard size inserts so I was like right what do I actually want in here planning it out finding inserts making inserts just because you know this is a new size to me so um what i've done as well in and i've left it cover free so you can see is all i do is i get the a5 midori um midori covers from amazon and um i cut it right down like near from i cut it so that the back pocket and the front pocket is still there and then I just pack in tape it up and then when you've got a cover on you can't really tell if I bring you up right up close you can see there but that doesn't really bother me because it's the back um so that's how I cover them um I should have shown you really but it's it's so easy just cut 
just cut it and then like I could really cut quite a lot of this off which I probably will do when I've um, put a cover on if I put a cover on so it'll only be a little bit but I wanted to show you um, it like this so what I have done is um, I was just sitting here and I start I started and I was like oh no I need to stop because um, I want to film it so what I've done I decided right on the first page I'm going to stick some sticky notes and I've done this let's do this um, freebie can't remember where it's from and I've just stuck it to the first page and I've just put like a bit of my favorite washi down there that's all I've done in regards to setting this up so that's what I want to do with you today is set this up because I'm excited um, I'm excited to set it up some bits that I have um, got and cut down kind of in like an order is this is a piece of vellum from the planner spot um, I've found this on Pinterest I have cut down some calendars that will fit into the um, standard size I also these are um, I think Fox and Pips on Annie Plans printables I think or one of them I've had I did have this personal size so I've just printed out a load of them I had to remake my resize planner inserts so it would fit um, so there were like the functional bits I have cut down some pieces of sterling ink uh, this is DK Designs. This is from a random paper pad. Uh, so is that. That's a bit of card. Um, this one is also from DK Designs. I've got a July calendar. This one is, I can't remember where this one's from, but it, it was from a pack that I got. Um, my little boochie. This is Nico. Um, He's a new addition to our family and he's currently sleeping down next to me by my feet. Love him. Um, I've said earlier that I lost the family dog. I was devastated. Like, literally couldn't get out of bed. Um, not wanting to be here anymore. Like, literally devastated. If you're a pet owner, you'll know. If you're not, then you just won't know. But imagine, like, losing your best friend, the person you love the most in the world losing them completely randomly out the blue like my i've been honest on here my relationship with my dad hasn't been great um um yeah so i mean i did grieve the loss of my dad but nowhere near as much as i as a loss of zeus um but this little guy has come into our lives and i wasn't sure about getting him but I'm so glad I did. He's Nico. He's a Shorky, so he's a cross between a Shih Tzu and a Yorkie, and he's gorgeous. And I want him in my planner. And then my favourite girl, and a July planner spot calendar that I cut down. So here goes. Now, what I did first, it's a little test run, is I had an old um, Avec, um, an old. Hobonichi Avec. So what I did is I cut that down first. Uh, I wanted to, you know, do some practicing. I didn't want to cut down. I didn't want to um, commit to cutting that down unless I was sure it's going to work. But just to show you, you know, if you do cut your thing down, what you lose, you're losing quite a bit of the months. Um, you, you have to stack Saturday and Sunday if you want to on the monthlies and the weeklies again you're losing the notes and Sunday so you could stack Saturday and Sunday I know a lot of people do that um, but I just wanted to you know try out a few different layouts um, and see where I was at you know with with the whole planning situation um, the timed dailies um, I don't need them um, I was trying to get them in I was trying to fit things in and I was trying to fit in the timed dailies and I'm like why are you so hung up on the timed dailies and you know while I've been doing this like pre-planning -y kind of getting ready for this one counting squares printing stuff out I, I had also where is it so I just wrote the day, it was a Tuesday, and I just list everything that I've done that day. And then I wrote the day and I list, and I 
made a little thing there so I just carried it on there and I was like I like that I like just listing stuff so I think I settled on I did settle on a way to set it up I was like thinking right my highlights how am I going to fit them in and looking through a very old it's turned into a planner chat more than a setup isn't it I got this bullet journal it's got my handle on it whoops I did it again co uh, when I went to the um to Belgium to the planner uh, planner con thing June 19 and I loved it I absolutely loved it like playing around with different layouts and looking back through this and I was looking through it and I was like oh this is amazing like I really love it, it, it in a way apart from like tipping things in I was treating this like I would astrology like I was researching what course I wanted to do uh, meal ideas um I did this really cool where is it drawn brute uh, mood tracker I did some journaling master task list where is it I'm trying to find you so I did a line a day in July and it's July um and reading through it I just like I loved it I looked at it and I was like wow that is you know like I got a gist of the month just by that and another thing I want to show you is this productivity tracker so back then I was my mental health was a lot lot worse than what it is now and some days you know just getting out of bed um, was hard and I can't take credit for this um, I can't remember who did it I wish I wrote it down but somebody else did it and what they did is they they drew icons of everything that you would do so that's what I did I drew icons of everything that I did and then you would say so for the first I know I had a shower brush my teeth what's lips I think yeah I did my makeup I, I did my hair what's the pencil did some journaling um, uh, and did finances oh productive day that day I cooked dinner I did some oh, I got dressed then I had to sleep <laughs> but like just basic things like having a shower brushing your teeth putting your makeup on doing your hair doing a bit of journaling it once you see it you think oh well actually i have been quite productive um <laughs> i've just seen something on there if you've seen it as well please ignore it um <laughs> that's so funny i'm not gonna point it out if you've seen it you've seen it if you haven't you haven't um yeah loved it and um yeah so i wanted to get back to doing a highlight of the day like a line a day so, yeah so i was just messing about in here and then i thought yeah i can actually make this work so that's what we're doing today guys we're making it work i have absolutely no idea well that's a lie i do have an idea of what's going where but just not um deco as such i am gonna decorate in here but I just thought it best if we go straight into let me just just get rid of those right 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 so I know I want a yearly calendar and I'm thinking of putting that over the top because it's so pretty but then we need some color on this side or do I put that there and I haven't really got loads I've, I've really tried to like minimize it to what I'm actually going to use so I wanted a yearly overview I wanted my resized planet inserts discount codes and PR codes stickers to make stickers to buy purchases YouTube trackers oh I need a um, pen birthdays um, I want to add in a add to planner because 
that's always a good one birthdays and then my youtube trackers and then monthlies and weeklies etc so um my the only reason i want um the only reason i want a yearly overview is to mark off the holidays the kids holidays and insert days i do well i used to um use this a lot but to be fair i don't think this is this works if your inserts are square so like your b6 your a5 your a6 you know they're all square so it's easy to resize a square isn't it like because it just goes like that but if you try and turn a square insert into a standard insert you're gonna it's gonna squish it up or you're gonna lose a lot so i think i need to redo that to be fair because i don't think well i know that's not gonna work for, for what I want but do I want it in here yes I think so I don't know um this is the bit that I'm like struggling with because um I don't know what um, I, I don't want to commit I don't want to commit to anything this is what happened yesterday I was sat there and I was like right let's get it all in some order so I can just come on and just put it all down but then you don't see the thought process and I know you like the thought process so I'm trying to to give you that I am drinking an energy drink oh it's my own fault I have to take um medication at night and um um if I don't might this <laughs> I have to take medication at night to sleep and to wind down to be able to function as a human because my um my um the way that the psychiatrist explained it to me is i'm always at a hyper level of like sensitivity and like when i'm um how am i going to word it so when when a normal person is relaxed my relaxed is up here um so then another person when they wind down they can go like down lower but my, then I come down to there, so I'm always high end. So the medication that I'm on, it brings me down to a, like a, a normal person's level, but not like all the way down. It, it, it helps me. I hope that makes sense. It helps me. It's not just sleeping tablets. It's um, like quite a few different medications I take to try and bring me down, calm me down. And one of the side effects of not taking the medication is insomnia. Uh, Chris was away. I was really struggling. Like I was, I had food poisoning. Like for the first 24 hours when he was away. Um, so long story short, I didn't get my medication. I didn't pick it up. I didn't ask anyone to get it for me because I hate asking for people to do things for me. Um, and last night was the second night not being on my medication, and that's when I know it hits. So I, I get insomnia. So I was literally up last night, just sat up. Um, I didn't want to do anything because like my body was tired, but. Um, yeah, I just sit there thinking, I tried to watch a film, anyway, I was just like up till like, yeah, been up all night. Um, so I'm tired, so I'm drinking an energy drink, that was the point of that, wasn't it? So I love this paper, I love this paper. But I can never figure out which way it goes. Should we just commit? Should we just, should we just do it? Like, I mean... Let's do it, girl. Let's just start sticking some stuff down. So how is everyone? I hope you're all well. My YouTube game has suffered over the last couple of months. I know that. But obviously, you know why. Um... I've missed it. I've missed talking to you guys, but you need to take the time. Is one thing that I've learned. If you come back too soon, you're not going to be able to sustain it. Is what I think. So I've took the time. Right. Right. 
I'm going to tip this in old school way. I don't know why I called it old school way. It's not really old school way, is it? My tipping in, oh, it's really not that complicated. I just whack it down halfway over, fold it over a bit. I can't do all that bloody fold it over a card malarkey not with these talons that I've got put it to where I want it and then just push down Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt no, I, I've, I, I've also got my other way of tipping in I like this way because you can fold to and from you can get a bigger bit you know, if you just plonk it on loosely enough, easy. I like it because it can go both ways. The other thing I use is this, like, really thin tape. But you can't really go both ways on that one. Um, right, I'm regretting this already. <laughs> I should have put some washi down underneath that before I put that down. But I have got... I have got this really thin, dotty dotty washi that came, I'm sure it came in a sterling ink box guys like I want to say thank you so much those those of you that watched my um, my haul and I did a um, DK Designs unboxing and I'm part of their um, PR team well actually we're not PR anymore we're called Brand Ambassadors Anyway, there's a little, like, group um, of brand ambassadors. Well, it makes it sound fancy, doesn't it? And um, they kind of, like, put down your sales. But, like, I was thinking, oh, my God, it's going to be so embarrassing. You know, I'm not going to have any sales because I don't really use Instagram. I'm more of a YouTuber. Um, and I had ten sales, guys. I was like, um... I had to message her and go... Is that 10 people use my code? She was like, yep, yeah, well done. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, I wasn't bottom. I wasn't bottom and I was so glad because I thought, oh my God, this is going to be so embarrassing. But like, I'm going to have zero sales. Not that there's anything wrong with zero sales. Don't come at me. But I was just surprised and I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who did use my code. Um, if you want to use it, it's down below. Uh, I am going to be doing a plan with me using her kit because um, there's another, there's, I just love her kits anyway. And people always ask me or like p DM me on Insta and stuff like that and I do reply. But I do just want to say it and I have spoke about it before. You all know my favourite subscription boxes are the Planner Spark, DK Designs and Sterling Inc. You know, they're all different. They're all unique in their own ways. Oh, I like that. They're all unique in their own ways. But um value for money and for what you get it if you if you can only afford one subscription box and you know i like you can't use my code on the subscription box so you know i wouldn't say it if i didn't mean it but for value for money i would definitely if you can only afford one go for the dek designs one because it's um you get paper, you get vellum, you get washi, you get a st like a sticker kit that lasts f for four spreads easy um, and you always get like fun items and things like that so um, so we've done yearly overview so yeah I mean they're all different like I use Planner Spot for its simplicity um, it's more of a chic kind of planning which I love. See, I'm in the middle of all these different kind of planning styles at the minute as well, and, and I love it, but I hate it. Um, yeah, Planner Spot is more like classic, chic, kind of cloth and paper vibes, but I didn't really rate cloth and paper. I like Planner Spot. Um, and Sterling Ink, obviously, florals. She's got florals smashed down, hands down. Um, she's got florals, and she got me into florals. Her kits, which I've had since January, since she started, like I use them all the time. Um, she she's mastered florals. 
<coughs> excuse me and I think as far as a subscription box goes with like sticker kits like your fun colors and like everything you need for a setup in one pack D D DK Absolutely. designs smashed that out the park years ago and I think she still does them there was the planner society her stuff it just got so repetitive it was like I mean I don't want to slag anyone off but um yeah the stuff was just there yeah, it just got repetitive and um the sterling ink one doesn't even though you get the same stuff it's such a different like theme and things you feel like it's a completely different kit so yeah those are the three definitely if you want value for money go for the dk designs one and put my name in the notes and you get my little freebie or whatever but you will get a discount on everything else apart from like the sunday specials you don't get a discount on that and I don't think you get a discount on the hump Thursday thing but anything else you do yeah so that's enough about me blabbing about my brand ambassador stuff so I've done that I've done that um right so how's this gonna work has we got enough of these so I'll do birthdays add to planner next I think so what what do I want to do here? It's just sticking stuff down, isn't it? It's just sticking stuff down. So, right, I'm going to do birthdays and I'm going to do ads planner and then I'm going to do stickers to make, stickers to buy, but I'm going to stick all my sticky things down and then come back and do all the fun stuff with you because you don't want to see me just sticking stuff down on paper. Come on, that's boring, but I'll be back. I just wanted to say really, really quickly, um, I also want to thank everybody who has um, used the link below to buy me a coffee. Um, I put the link there. I don't really speak about it much, to be fair, because I don't want to say, oh, buy, buy me a coffee. But um, loads of people have been buying me coffees and um, I try to message everyone back who has. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, whenever I go to Costa and have a coffee, I always think, one of my subscribers bought me this coffee. But um, yeah, I haven't really been on YouTube much. So obviously, uh, the less you're on, the less you earn. So the... Um, the buy me a coffee and stuff has, has subsidized what I've lost. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone that's done that. You don't have to, like it's, um, you know, it's your hard uh, money, but I just, I did want to say thank you. I didn't want to ignore the fact that people are doing it. Um, and I love you. So I'll be back when I've finished sticking. So I did do the sticking in, but I got a bit carried away. Um, because I worry so much about how something, how things are going to look, um, I I just do it and then show you after, which I know is not helpful. But so this is the front cover. I've gone with the girl, Nico, and a little rainbow. I've also stuck it down with my favourite washi. And this is from the planner spot. It's just got a bit of pink card underneath. And then here, I've just stuck a little coffee sticker on there and a little coffee maker down there. Put a strip of washi there. And then I've stuck in all of the things that I wanted to stick in. I've just stuck a bit of washi down the bottom. I mean, there's nothing really exciting here. Nothing exciting here. And then that is it for, like, the month for the, like, overall setup. Um, so what I've done as well is I have, I feel like I'm on Blue Peter. Um, here's what I made earlier. So I've made these two like boards, if you like, and I can't decide which one to use as the front cover and which one to use as, I fit, I'm, I'm drawing, I'm, drawing i'm being pulled more to this as the front cover because come on it's pink and this one i thought actually looks really nice for july because i mean it's the 15th of july like we've got two weeks left but um yeah so i think i'm going to use that one as my like july over page and this one as a cover um this is from Alvi Planning Co, Alvi Planning Co, and these, um, like, 
wax seals they're also from Albie Planning Co and I mean oh, in love in love I think I've run out of my yeah I've run out of my reusable sticker tape so what right what what I'm gonna do is take this out and I need to decide on a but I'm gonna have to stick these down I don't want to but I know they're gonna move around if I don't these aren't too bad because I mean you can just oh <laughs> we'll find out if you can just pull them up without ripping the paper these have little glue dots on so you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick it down so cute so so cute the um that I want to change out every month. I'm just going to have to... If I do little ones. Because... It's going to be replaced anyway. So if I just do little ones. I don't mind it covering up the 20... 22... Or do I want it lower? I mean those days have... Those days have gone... And I put that at the bottom and then hopefully it's gonna go that oh, it's gonna go that way so I do need to round I've got um, Nico likes to lie which one's like the best one um, on the wheels of my um, chair well, I'm not using this so uh, what's this one not very good I think I want to go with this one Um, he lies on the wheels and it scares me right so there's the cover and then what am I going to put in the back I hadn't planned that I hadn't planned the back um, oh I've got this I've got that that I could just put in there. I mean, you're not going to see the back really, are you? So then I will slide this in between there. Mm, I don't like that. It doesn't go. It doesn't go at all. Um, what about some Coffee Monster Co. Vellum? Put a white piece of paper in there and it doesn't go either. Oh drama drama drama. What we got? What we got in the little what we got in here? What's in here? They're all B6. Let's be honest, I think these are as well. But I think some of them all. Well that's nice. Like that. I mean, you're not really going to see the back. So, I'm just going to wing it. Wing it, wing it, wing it. I say you're not going to see the back. Like, I will see the back. So that's why I do want something gonna that's gonna kind of go 
I think you can see more what I mean now about just sticking it down. Um, I know, I think it's Cat Espresso Co. Does covers um, for the standard, but um, I went on and had a look and they were out of stock, but I'm going to keep looking and then um, I'll get some. There we go. Not bothered about the spine either. Let me just push this across a bit more. I like, I like. There was always that beautiful one was nice as well. So that leaves that one for the overview. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Can't wait to start using it. Can't wait. So what I've decided to do as well is, let me bring it out a bit, is uh, journal in this as well as um, do the monthlies. So I'm gonna do like the monthlies and the weeklies as normal. In fact, I haven't finished, have I? because I want to put in the calendars for the calendars for YouTube. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this and it's kind of annoying me that there's a gap, but I was thinking, let me go up. Um, I was thinking, I mean, I can decorate these, but also I can use it for video, video ideas and stuff. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to do like my normal, normal like B6. Like it's been it's been so long, hasn't it, guys? Let's go. Let's have a look. So my plan is to do like a this week page and then a day per page, exactly the same as what I did in my B6. I mean, you can see that there's loads of space and everything, and this is longer. So yeah, I'm gonna do that the same, but then from the back in, well, from the very back, I'm gonna do, um, cause these pages are gonna be hard to write, and I'm gonna do my uh, Tombows, my Mild Liners, and my Crayola Colors of the World swatches in there. And then I'm just gonna start journaling in here, like I showed you in here. I mean, I can decorate the pages if I want to. It'd be more like a Hobonichi Weeks kind of decorating. Where is it? I showed you earlier, so and it's around here. Yeah, so I'll just put the day and then list what I've done. And, you know, then all the information's in here. So I don't then have to worry so much about, oh, I'm behind on this or whatever. Because this is meant to just be for fun. It's not like functional or anything like that. It's just, it's taken over the weeklies in my cousin as a memory planner. So that's the plan for that. Let me just see. Like it's a different kind of pink, but it does go. It does go. I'm going to see how this goes because... I'm not sure, the cover's kind of funny, I'm not sure like if I'm going to keep this size or not, uh, but I know that I want a nicer cover for it. Oh, I really do like it, I really do like it. I spoke to scan. that's right. Yeah, I really do like it. I think um, I'll do these off camera and then I'll show you when I do the monthly plan with me what I decided to do with these. Um, and then the next video I'll do like the July setup. It's not really, the only thing I'm putting in the monthlies is a cover page and then um, a liner day. So it's only going to be two pages really on a setup. So, um, I mean, I suppose I could just do that now, but I'm not sure how many of the monthlies I'm going to put in here because I'm not sure how long I'm going to be in here. It is a full year, 
and a full year stalogy. I mean, they do get quite thick as well, but like with the journaling, with it not being like stickered up, so half the book will be stickered and half won't. I'm, I'm hoping that, um, I mean, August, September, October, November, December. I reckon I can get them in. So if I do July, August, September, October, November, December, and then this will be the monthly. Then what do I put on that side? Because, or I can put like the monthly, the monthly cover page on this side. But then, what am I going to put on the other side? Is the question. What am I going to put that side? If I put that there, hmm, decisions. Look at my giant cup of coffee. See, this is what I mean. When I haven't got a plan, it all goes tits up. And I kind of like don't know what to do. And I've gone quite specific with the green there. Let's have a look in here. Green's not normally my go to colour. I mean, that's blue, not green. Not the right green. That's blue. I mean, I'm not really sure. Not really sure what to do to be honest. Got some nice dots there. Why oh, would I want dots? I love that paper. Love it. Right, there's nothing in there. Um what do I do? What do I do? I think I am going to end because I have no idea what I'm going to do um, and then when I do my like weekly setup, monthly setup, I'll, I'll, I'll do it then. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here, oh, that's going to annoy me, get where you're supposed to be. It's the thing when you don't put the... Uh, covers down. I'm just going to put it on this first string and there we go. All set up. Well, not all set up because I haven't finished. But yeah, no, I like that. That's going to annoy me so I'm going to have to fix that because I'm not here for the uh, oh, paper squiddling around everywhere. So I'm going to fix that and um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, if you did give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think about my new little system to get me over my little planner funk um, and uh, I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.